Hi, my name is Dr. Jordan Carcavel, and I'm a cosmetic dermatologist and Mohs surgeon. Today, we're going to talk about a case study of a patient who underwent soft tissue fillers and lasers to approach her anti-aging journey. Let's get into it. So this patient came to me initially because she was feeling tired. She just wanted to improve the way she looks. She wants to feel more refreshed, a little bit youthful, but still wants to look like herself. She doesn't want me to do anything drastic or extreme. And she knows she doesn't want a facelift. So when I have a patient who comes to me for this indication, which is pretty much every day, is this patient going to be disappointed if they don't have a facelift? Do they need surgery to achieve their goals? And so we have first a conversation about expectations and what they want. So my patient here did not want to have surgery. She didn't want scars. She didn't want downtime. So where I come in, where I specialize is minimally invasive cosmetic treatments. And so minimally invasive can occur anywhere on the spectrum of using neuromodulators like Botox, fillers, lasers, and then little mini skin tightening options. So in this situation, we decided that she was not going to have surgery and we were going to take a minimally invasive approach. We used a combination of soft tissue fillers to revolumize the facial volume that's lost. And so that includes areas of the temples, the mid face, and the chin in particular. And then to address the skin and the wrinkling, we decided to use a non-ablative resurfacing laser. And then to reduce the redness and the brown, we did the broadband light, which is a light source that targets both red and brown. So as an overview, the first thing I did was start with broadband light. And so broadband light is a light source that's going to shine light on the skin and it targets different what we call chromophores. So in her case, she had both redness and some brown pigmentation. So we use that laser to target those goals and that helps reduce the red and the brown. The second treatment we did was the non-ablative resurfacing laser. And so that laser is going to serve to stimulate collagen. And when you go at higher settings, the energy can actually go deeper into the collagen where it's gonna injure the collagen and stimulate those fibroblasts to start working again. So you'll see some of her skin quality looks improved after those treatments. The third treatment that I did was use soft tissue fillers to revolumize some of her anatomic fat pads. So the face has several fat pads that over time, as we age, they deflate and they need to be revolumized. The most important thing to do is revolumize them in a natural way. Part of why we see people looking funny after fillers is that they haven't been treated with anatomical locations in mind. So in her case, I treated her temples, her mid face and her chin. She could probably still benefit from more, but I think she did great. She shows a little bit more volume in her skin and a little bit more suppleness. A lot of times the approach that I take is it's almost like reinflating a balloon and treating the outside of the surface of the balloon because it's not just the loss of volume, but it's also what's holding it together, so the envelope. So by reinflating the balloon with a little bit of soft tissue filler and then resurfacing the outside of the balloon, you can make that balloon look more supple and more full. And you can do it in a natural way if you respect anatomical boundaries. So downtime with filler is nominal. Most of the time when we treat a patient with fillers, they're coming in for a lunchtime procedure and provided that we don't give a lot of bruising, which we try not to. But right after, even if you do get a little mark or a bruise, you can put makeup over it right away. The thing that takes more downtime is going to be the laser. She had the broadband light and the non-ablative. And so that's going to take about two, three, four days of healing, depending on how strong we're going. Results from the soft tissue filler are almost instantaneous because you're revolumizing. You're putting something into the face and you're seeing that results right away. It's very satisfying. With the lasers, you'll see some improvement in that skin surface within the first week. But it does take time to build the collagen. So that can take six months to a year to really get to that final endpoint of stimulation. So I love this photo so much because you can actually palpate the energy and the confidence in the patient in the second photo. So she just feels more comfortable in her own skin. She feels more beautiful, more supple, more youthful, and she looks it to everyone also. So the, I'm sure the compliments helped. As a cosmetic dermatologist, 
I love that I have the ability to help someone feel good about themselves. Now, I went to school for, for medicine and I do remove a lot of skin cancers and treat a lot of rashes and medical conditions. This is the art of it. So I really enjoy that art and science and it's really fun. It doesn't make it feel like work for me at all. It, it truly feels like art and helping people in a way that is special. If you enjoy this video or want to see more videos like this, please feel free to like, subscribe, and drop any comments or questions below. Thank you.